Hello everyone, this is Sri Guru over here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In the previous class, we have studied classification of semiconductor. Among them, we have first started with the intrinsic semiconductor. Today, in this video, we are going to elaborate extrinsic semiconductor. Extrinsic semiconductor means when when a small quantity of impurity is mixed in a pure or an intrinsic semiconductor, the conductivity of the semiconductor increases. That means nearly one atom of impurity in a 10 to 7 atoms of pure semiconductor we are adding. Such an impurity semiconductor is called extrinsic semiconductor. The conductivity of the resultant crystal depends on the nature and the quantity of the impurity added. Depending upon the nature of impurity added, the intrinsic semiconductor, the extrinsic semiconductors are of two types. The first one is n-type semiconductor, which is also known as a donor type semiconductor. The second one is a p-type semiconductor which is also known as an acceptor energy, uh, acceptor semiconductor. Look at the first n-type semiconductor. When a pentavalent impurity like arsenic, phosphorus or antimony is added to a pure semiconductor, the resultant formed semiconductor is n-type. Pentavalent impurity means the impurity atoms are having five valence electrons. When we add such impurity to a pure intrinsic semiconductor, the out of five valence electrons, four share with its adjacent atoms of silicon or germanium with a forming a covalent bond. And the fifth electron is loosely bond with the atom with an energy of 0.01 energy electron would. Since a free electron is obtained which act as a charge carrier, the crystal is called n-type because the conductivity increases due to the negative charge. We can see this in this figure. We have added antimony to the silicon, germ, silicon semiconductor. This antimony is having the five free electrons. Out of 5, 4 electron is shared with its neighboring atom with a forming a covalent bond and the fifth is loosely bond with the atom. This free electron increases the conductivity of n-type semiconductor. Due to increase in the negative charge, the majority of the charge carriers in the n-type semiconductor is due to electron. The density of electrons is equal to the density of donor ions. Look at the diagram. We know that this is a conduction band and this is a valence band. As we add impurity to the pure semiconductor, pentavalent impurity to the pure semiconductor, there is a another energy level formed just below the conduction band which is known as a donor energy level and the electrons are get situated in the donor energy level and the energy gap this gap is known as energy gap and the energy gap is 0.01 electron volt and uh, Density of electron is greater than the density of poles in an n-type semiconductor. Therefore, current is maximum due to electrons than the holes. Second one is a p-type semiconductor. When a small quantity of a trivalent impurity added to a pure semiconductor, the resultant formed semiconductor is a P type. This is not N type. This is a P type semiconductor. Just make it correct. Trivalent impurity means the impurity atom having the three valence electrons like indium, boron, aluminium. These are called trivalent impurity 
because these are having three free electrons in it. When a trivalent impurity is added to a pure semiconductor, three electrons form a covalent bonds with a neighboring atom and the remaining remains a lack of one electron that means a deficiency of one electron which creates a hole lack of one electron creates a hole that means which act as a positive charge we can know that in case of semiconductor there is a conduction band and a balance band and when we add a trivalent impurity just above the valence band there is a another energy level is formed which is known as a acceptor energy level and the energy gap between the valence band and the acceptor energy level is 0.08 electron volt by providing this we can make the electron to move from the valence band to at this acceptor energy level by applying this much of energy and we know that the conductivity is due to holes here in case of p type and maximum current is due to the holes than the electrons and the number density of holes is greater than the electrons Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.